See these cabinets? I made them all out of Craig screws. I'll show you how I did it. It's amazing. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work at all. Oh, why am I so small? The cabinets are made out of screws, not joinery. First time, I've done it. Here you go, I'm showing you how. I needed cabinets for the garage. <sighs> Tired from jumping. And I wanted to see how good Craig's screws were. I usually always make cabinets with traditional wood joinery, like rabbits, dados, biscuits. I don't know if that's traditional, but usually big grooves that interlock everything together. But this time I wanted to try an experiment, or I was lazy, but I made them all, except, well, except for the doors, they're all out of Craig screws. They're mounted to the wall, usually with cabinet mounting screws. So screws. But the main part, the carcass, all the plywood pieces, that's all Craig screws. Inch and a quarter screws because I have three quarter inch plywood. The doors I had to do traditional joinery. They just, they're so sexy. I'll show those later. But it's all made out of screws and they're really, really good. The cabinets themselves are pretty strong. Because, you know, I can hang from them, if you can see my feet. Oh. And I'm, I'm not the biggest guy, I'm 180 pounds, but those are just screws held together. And that's 180 pounds in the front, not in the back, but way out in the front. You're never going to have 180 pounds in the front. I'm really impressed with how well the Craig screws hold up. So let me show you a little bit on the inside of the doors. So as we look at the cabinets, they're just everyday normal cabinet uppers. But when we actually go inside the cabinets, you can see everything is held together with Craig screws on the bottom, on the top, my little attachment boards where I can mount it to the studs. You can't see it, but there's just Craig screws holding this down and Craig screws holding it together. So this entire cabinet is just held together with Craig screws. You can see I have Craig screws over there because this is a partition wall. The whole cabinet's eight feet. If we look up there, more Craig screws. So the whole thing is just put together with screws. It's amazing, it's outrageous. Well, if I'm gonna make one, I'm gonna make, there's eight feet, there's another eight feet. And over there, without doors on it, is another eight feet. I, I miscounted my hinges. Don't, don't you judge me. I tried to hide all of my screws too. So if you look underneath, you don't see any screws. Oh my God, that light is bright. If you look on the side, you don't see the screws either. I kept all the screws on the inside. Only traditional wood joinery is my doors. I had to, I just had to do it that way. I had to. So I have cherry doors, cherry, elm, and walnut. Well, walnut just kind of ties it all together and it goes with our library ladder. To tell you the truth, I didn't plan to do the walnut. It was a mistake. When I, I do all my drawings on AutoCAD, but I had the wrong dimensions printed off. So I made the doors an inch short, but it was my wife's idea and it looked really good. Good job, boy. Good job, boy. For those of you that don't know what a Craig screw is, well, first things first, it's a screw. So as far as Craig screw stuff together goes, you have the Craig jig, which is rad, the Craig drill bit, a Craig driver, and all the other goodens that you really need. This you can set up 
for certain sizes. I have mine at three quarters because the last project I did was three quarters <gasps> of an inch. And then you have to size up your drill bit for that amount of material too. When you drill everything, I'm not gonna show you because I don't wanna be that guy. It makes little recesses like that that the screws fit perfectly into and they would also pop out just enough. So if you notice, the screws are in there. They are beneath the surface of the wood and they stick out just the perfect amount depending on how thick the board you are going to be attaching it to. So if I was gonna attach that board to that board, it would give me maximum holding potential without popping through the other side because I read the instructions and I know how these numbers work with these numbers. Because I'm smart like that, I'm smart. Worthwhile investment, buy yourself one. It, if you don't have a Craig jig for some reason, I'm, I'm sorry, but we just can't be friends anymore. I mean, not much else to show you because, well, you know, their cabinets put together with screws. I want to try it out. I never made cabinets with just screws before, but they hold up super good. My face frames are even screwed together, but they are attached to the main cabinet with biscuits just because, you know, I wanted to. I like biscuits. I watched Norm Abram as a kid. You know, blame Norm, it's fine with me. In case you were wondering how strong Craig's screws are to build a cabinet, I, th I would think it's just as good as traditional wood joinery. I have not done any destructive tests, whereas a Craig joint versus a mortise and tenon joint or a dado joint or a lap joint or a rabbit joint or anything like that. I haven't tested it. So this is just purely opinion, but I like it. They turned out really well, it was super quick. So in case you were wondering, Yes, you can make cabinets out of Craig screws. Yes, they do hold up really well. And yes, you can make them look just like a professional does. So, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you learned a little something. Sorry for pointing, but every once in a while I feel like Harrison Ford. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time in another video, whatever that might be, because I haven't figured it out yet. I just ramble, ramble, ramble on. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's hot. Hey, 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 jerk. With traditional wood joining, with, it's actually a nice day in Wisconsin. Doesn't happen very often. I mean, a nice day in Wisconsin, Re really? You get nine months of winter and then one nice day. Yay, I love Wisconsin. No, it doesn't happen that way.